AEW's Tony Khan says WWE has been doing better shows recently. Bret Hart on Vince McMahon's WWE retirement. Former WWE star Paige gives an update on a potential in-ring return. Also, AEW's Chris Statlander is out of action with a knee injury. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest, and we got plenty of news for you here today. We're going to go ahead and kick things off with Tony Khan's recent comments about WWE's programming. Take a look. Tony Khan believes that WWE has been putting on better shows recently. The AEW president was interviewed by DAZN and noted that if LAPS fans are returning to watch WWE at the moment, it stands to benefit his company as well. Saying, quote, If you like good wrestling, you're just more likely to want to see it because our competitor has been doing better shows recently than they had been doing, I think. I watch them pretty often and I think they've been better. It seems like that's the consensus among people who watch them. I do think in general, if it's gonna get more people watching wrestling, that's probably not gonna hurt any wrestling company. And we stand to gain the most in many ways because if you're a big wrestling fan and if you've been away and you like good wrestling, you might be saying, where are Chris Jericho and Brian Danielson, CM Punk's back? I think if you're a fan of good wrestling, it'd be a great time to step back in and check it out because right now, there's a lot of good wrestling on TV, including Wednesdays on TBS and Fridays on TNT. Bret Hart also shared his comments on Vince McMahon's retirement, saying he actually feels pretty sad about it. Take a look. Bret Hart says Vince McMahon will be sorely missed following his retirement from WWE. Hart was interviewed by Bill Lapter at the Gathering Wrestling Convention and was asked about his reaction to McMahon's departure. Brett said, quote, I'm like everybody else, I'm mostly just kind of surprised. I don't think anybody's ever made as big a footprint as Vince McMahon. And you know, I feel kind of sad about it, actually. I know people probably think I would be gloating or happy to see him go through what he's going, but I don't. I feel bad that it's happened or whatever has happened. I think his loss or his absence from the business will be sorely missed. While appearing on the latest episode of The Sessions with Renee Paquette, Soraya Jade Bevis, formerly known as Paige in WWE, gave an update on her in-ring status. Soraya announced this June that she would be departing WWE when her contract expired in July. In the statement announcing her departure, Soraya indicated that she would one day compete in the ring again. She told Renee that she's feeling fantastic physically, saying that if she were to return to the ring, it would be for a really big moment. Saying, quote, I'll do promos here and there for big companies, but to actually wrestle, it would have to be a really big moment. I would love to face Sasha Banks again for real because like it ended the way it did. She hasn't wrestled since December 2017. It was revealed in January 2018 that WWE had medically disqualified her from in-ring competition due to issues with her neck. Soraya's final match before being disqualified from the ring was a six-woman tag match with Banks as one of her opponents. WWE made the decision to not renew her contract when it expired earlier this year. AEW has revealed on Dynamite that Chris Statlander is injured. She was removed from the promotion's official power rankings on August 10th after having been ranked number two in her division on August 3rd. Tony Schiavone then revealed on commentary during Wednesday's show that Statlander is out of action with an injury. It was later revealed by Chris Statlander that it is indeed a knee injury. She wrote on Twitter saying, One knee fixed, one ago. After the first knee injury, I came back stronger and better than ever. So it's all over for you when I come back from this one. I'm sorry to let you all down once again. I'll be back bigger, more powerful, and more than a woman. Unfortunately, back in June 2020, Statlander suffered an ACL injury during an episode of Dynamite. She would later return on March 31st, 2021. Unfortunately, to be sidelined once again. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can check out my post show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to catch up with all of the latest in pro wrestling. On top of that, do not forget to follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. See you guys next time. Bye, everyone.